Resident Evil 2. In the midst of the T-Virus outbreak in Raccoon City, Leon Kennedy succeeded in escaping from the city following his encounter with one of the only other survivors, a woman named Ada, a spy seeking the deadly G-Virus. However, Ada! Leon was not the sole survivor of the incident. A girl named Claire Redfield was in town on business of her own. She came to uncover the mysterious circumstances of her brother's disappearance. Chris Redfield, a member of the Star's Alpha Team. Only now, her mission has become quite simple. Basic survival within the nightmare that was once Raccoon City. Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Uh, hello? <gasps> Look, I'm sorry I bothered you, okay? Just don't come any closer. Are you listening? Stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. Station. 
I'll meet you there. Okay.
Good to see you're still among the living. It looks like we're not going to find your brother here after all. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens.
Thank <laughs> you. 
I thought you were another one of those zombies. Are you Chief Irons? Yes, that's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the others. That's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her. But I failed. Miserably. Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Her skin nothing short of perfection. But it will soon putrefy and she will turn into a zombie within the hour like all the others. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain, or by decapitating her completely. to think that taxidermy used to be my hobby. But no longer. Please. I'd really like to be alone now. Wait, let me go! Easy, easy there, I'm not a zombie! You're safe now. <laughs> My name's Claire. What's yours? Sherry. Do you know where your parents are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant, near the city limits. The chemical plant? Then 
What are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. From the look of things, I'd say she was probably right. But it's dangerous here as well. You'd better come with me. But there's something out there. I don't know what it is, but I saw it. Much larger than any of those zombies. And it's coming after me. What was that? That's what I was telling you about. It's here. Sherry, wait. Sherry, I've been looking everywhere for you. I was so worried. 
We've got to go now, honey, okay? If we stay here, that monster will find us. Let's go. No! I won't! What's the matter? <laughs> Don't you trust me? It's not that, Claire. It's because of my daddy. He's over there. I heard him call my name. Daddy must have been attacked by the monsters. I have to help him. Wait, Sherry. Don't go alone. Sherry! Sherry! Sherry, are you okay? Did you find your dad? Yes, I'm okay. But I couldn't find him. But I did find something else for you. Here! Here's another! Thanks, sweetie. Now why don't you come over here? I want you to stay with me. Wait, Sherry, come back! Sherry! Sherry! Do you read me, Claire? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Got it. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way.
Okay. I'm glad to see you're safe, Claire. Going down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay? <laughs> so you've made it this far. Not bad, girl. But I'm not letting anyone leave my town. Everyone's gonna die. Calm down, Chief. What happened? Shut up! You couldn't possibly understand what's happened. Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! If you must know, it's the agent that can turn humans into the ultimate bio weapons. Superior to the T-Virus in every way. Dr. William Birkin is the genius behind the project. William Birkin? I'm sure you've already seen his little girl running around here somewhere. Sherry, isn't it? In case you haven't already figured it out. The monster that's been tearing my precinct apart is yet another product of the G-Virus. An ultimate bio -window. Umbrella must be trying to cover its tracks. But if I have to go, I'm going to take you with me! What the... Thank <laughs> you. 
Out of here. We should be able to find some place safe if we can just make it out of town. But don't worry, I'll protect you. I promise. But you have to make sure you don't leave my side. Get out of here. Thank 
What happened? You're bleeding! I, I... I ran into this woman who is in trouble. Her name's... Ada. Right after that, someone tried to kill me. Nearly succeeded, too. Ada went after the sniper, but... I, I'm worried about her. You gotta find her before... before something happens. But you've been shot! I'll be okay. It's Ada I'm worried about. Are you all right? What happened? Get away from me. You just want my husband's tree sample, don't you? But no one will take that away from me. No one. Husband? Then you must be Annette. Huh? How did you? We don't have time for that. Sherry is lost somewhere in the sewer system. I have to find her. What? I told her to go to the police building. Why is she here? Now Sherry and the G-Sample are both in danger. Uh. What did she mean by that? Does Sherry have the G-Sample?
Sherry, wait here. I'm going to check it out by myself. Okay, I'll wait here, but hurry back.
Don't worry. Just wait here. I'll go and see what it was. That's okay. You keep it. I'm sure it'll keep you safe. Wait here for me, okay? I'm going back to look for your mom. Thanks, Claire. Even though I'm an only child, neither of my parents ever spent much time with me because of their work. But now that you're with me, I finally have someone to rely upon. Sherry.
Thank <laughs> you. 